Hey you guys, coming at you with the hot topic for today, which is the best credit cards uh, in starting your credit journey. Uh, maybe you just turned 18, maybe you've been adult for a little bit and you're starting uh, getting going on your credit, or maybe your situation is something totally different entirely. Um, whatever your situation may be, uh, if you have limited or no credit or even bad credit, this is the video for you. I've gone through and I have four credit cards uh, that I've sifted through, I've gone through, and I've prov uh, provided as recommendations uh, for you um, for this kind of a credit. Uh, my name is John Howard. I've processed one million mortgage applications online, and I share all the credit secrets from the lenders. Uh, credit cards are a great financial tool uh, for building your credit um, and to work to get your credit scores higher. Uh, opening up the right credit cards uh, are going to uh, help you get your scores higher, uh, they're going to help you uh, get the best interest rate down the road. Uh, they're going to help you get a mortgage someday uh, and also uh, borrow money for uh, real estate investing um, if you want to do that someday. Uh, <clears throat> uh, all the choices that I have uh, for you on these credit cards are no annual fee credit cards. Uh, the reason I, I chose no new annual fee is uh, aside from the fact that it's you know, absolutely imperative to save money uh, anytime and all times that you can. So it's great to have these cards that are gonna be the best cards for you to start that have no annual fee. 15% um, of your credit scores are, uh, come from a category called length of credit history. Uh, what this really means is, um, it just really means that any credit account that you have, whether it's a credit card or auto loan or any credit account, the longer that it stays open, the better it is the better that it is for you. Um, also, this particular category, it's really, this is the only category that you basically have no control over. Um, it's not really no control because obviously you're opening up a credit account, but you have very limited or no immediate control um, over any anything with respect to this particular um, category of your credit scores. Um, so, uh, you know, with that said, uh, the first two selections that I have are actually secured cards. The way that a secured card works, and what's great about secured card is, is you know, whether it's limited or no credit or really, really bad credit, anyone can get um, a secured card. So the way a secured card works is it works like a refundable security deposit. So you go, you take anywhere from $49 all the way down to $200 or even sometimes more. Um, you put that down um, at the bank uh, and then that becomes effectively your credit line. So in the case of $100, let's say you put $100 down, uh, your credit line with that card is now $100. So that's how a secured card works. And then also, uh, what they do is when you make your payments, they report to the credit bureaus as if it's a credit account. Um, and the great thing about it, especially for folks that are you know new to credit or, or already have bad credit or have limited credit, uh, is that you really can't get in trouble because your, your, your credit line is what your refundable secure deposit is because so you can't really let your spending get away from you. Uh, okay, the first two uh, selections are the Capital One Secured Card. This Capital One Secured Card has, of course, no annual fee. Um, it also has a $49, a $99, or a $200 refundable security deposit. I, I'm Actually, I think that might be the lowest uh, refundable security deposit available of, of any card. I've, I've never seen a card with a refundable security deposit that low. Um, also, uh, here with Capital One, um, after you make your first five monthly payments, you then um, can qualify for a, a higher credit limit. Uh, what's great about this Capital One Secured Card is that you can actually get this higher credit line after those first five payments without even putting an additional security deposit down. Uh, and then also, they'll give you free access to what's called CreditWise. CreditWise is the Capital One uh, kind of branded uh, name for the credit monitoring, uh, and that's accessed through their mobile app or through their online ba uh, banking, which is also 24-7 access for you. The second uh, recommendation I have is the Citibank Secured MasterCard. The Citibank Secured MasterCard, of course, also it's a uh, no annual fee. Um, here it's a $200 uh, minimum refundable security deposit. 
uh, what's good about this secured card uh, is that it also gives you free access to your FICO score. Uh, and you know, some of my other videos I talk about FICO versus Vantage, but uh, you know, right now, uh, pretty much 90% of lenders and banks are using FICO to uh, make all their lending decisions. So it's gonna be very valuable uh, for you to have access to your FICO score. Uh, and then uh, lastly, with this Citibank Secure Card, you can actually pick the the uh, the due date. Um, you can pick the due date that you want. So whether you want the, the middle, the beginning, or the end of the month, uh, I, I really <laughs> would like to choose the end of the month uh, whenever I can, but uh, you can actually choose the due date for that card. Uh, the next two recommendations I have here are actually credit cards. So basically just go get those two cards, those two secure cards, pretty much anyone can get them. And then after you know that, um, you know, these other credit cards you should be able to get. I mean, it does say, you know, you might need to have a fair score, which is really not that high. It's all the way down to somewhere in the neighborhood of 620 to 640, depending on the lending institution. But uh, this next one is the Capital One Platinum card. I actually have this card. I've had it for uh, a long time as well. What's great about this credit card is, of course, no annual fee. So uh, you might not even need fair for the Capital One. They're pretty. They're very, very generous with with this particular Platinum card. Um, same thing. After the first five monthly payments um, that you make, you then uh, will qualify for a higher credit line. And then also with this as well, you get the Credit Wise, which is the Capital One. A branded credit monitoring system, uh, which you can use 24-7 with their mobile app or their online banking. Um, the next uh, credit card I have is actually the Target Red card. Um, so what's funny about this one is this is also fair. So what, I, what I'd say is maybe have Target be the last one. So if you get all these three or even just the first two, you could then go and, um, and go for the Target Red card because you do need to have fair credit for the Target Red card. So with the Target Red card, you actually get 5% off every day. So that's hundreds of thousands of items at Target, which is, you know, target.com or actually, you know, going into the store. They have this thing, uh, their discount app that they have is the Cartwheel. So I think it's now, they're changing the name to Circles, Target Circles, but anyway, it's just the, the, the coupon system where you don't have to bring a paper coupon in and the little wheel spins and it shows you all the discounts that you can get there. Uh, and then also with the Target Red Card, you get your free two-day shipping. Uh, and then what I've noticed is great with Target is they have the, 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 the service where you can drive, you can walk up, so you order your stuff online, you can walk up, or you could just drive up and park in a spot and they'll, they'll bring it out to you. Uh, situations where you can't wait the two days to have it shipped to you, you just drive to the closest Target and they do that. Um, so there you go, guys. Those are the four recommendations, the four best cards to start with uh, on your credit journey. Another thing to keep in mind is that credit cards are a credit account. So what this means is uh, credit, uh, uh, credit total accounts um, is the category of your credit scores, which represents 10% of your scores. Um, this is also referred to as account mix. Uh, but again, it's 10% uh, of your, your credit scores. And uh, what the bureaus uh, do here in the scoring model is they assign buckets to, uh, they assign buckets uh, to the number of credit accounts that you have. So the absolute best bucket to be in is 21 credit accounts or more. Um, the next bucket uh, after that, the next best bucket is uh, 11 to 20. Uh, then below that is uh, six to 10. And then the, the worst bucket is actually five to zero. Don't need to worry about the 21 accounts or more right away. I mean, that's that's to get to the you know 850 perfect credit score. You don't need to worry about that initially. But again, it, it, you do want to focus on kind of, you know, getting some credit accounts and getting that going and starting with, with uh, the best choices. Uh, also, everyone, if you want to, in, uh, under this video, uh, I have links and in there, you can just go ahead and click and it'll take you right to these cards where you can select these cards and apply for them. Um, if you do do that from my links, I will get credit. So I just want to tell you because that way you know that they're there. Uh, so if you want to use uh, the links that I have here, that's great. If you don't want to use these links, that's fine too. Just go ahead and comment below. Um, I've got a ton of other cards that I could recommend if, um, if you'd like to ask any questions and I can just go ahead and do that um, through the comment section below, okay? Uh, best of luck in your credit journey and thank you. To get the best credit cards for maximizing reward and bonus points, you will need to have at least good credit scores. A lot of the best rewards cards will require a minimum FICO of 690 or even 700. 
Uh, and also these credit cards and the lenders will either use a bureau that you're not sure which of the three bureaus they're using, or they'll use the middle score of the three bureaus, which is why I recommend that you sign up and get an account at each bureau. Um, since these uh, credit scores are made up of so many different components, uh, I provide significant content uh, on everything that makes up your scores. To get more familiar with this whole world of credit, uh, and if you need to increase your scores, you really should pay attention to all the content I have. You can follow me on YouTube. Uh, I'm John C. Howard there uh, on Facebook as Quick Apply Credit Center, and you can also watch out for our emails. Thank you all for visiting and for watching. I'm here to assist, so I encourage everyone to follow me uh, and ask any questions at any time. Remember to visit our special links, our credit card finder, and our links to the bureaus, and know your credit at least three months before you rent, buy, refi, or apply. Thank you. It's uh, really important for uh, you to know that 90% or more uh, of all lending decisions uh, currently uh, are still being made according to your FICO scores. Keep in mind uh, that checking your own credit scores uh, does not affect them at all. When you check your own credit scores, it is considered a soft inquiry, and soft inquiries have absolutely zero effect on your credit scores. Uh, another resource for you is uh, annualcreditreport.com. You can get a free copy of your credit report once every 12 months from annualcreditreport.com. Uh, it's crucial for you to keep in mind, though, that you, uh, annualcreditreport.com doesn't actually give you your credit scores. Uh, it's just the credit report itself. So uh, they really don't give you that much. <clears throat> Uh, so I currently have a, a, a bit of videos uh, on um, uh, this content uh, and material on, on credit education, uh, improving your credit scores, uh, and all the top-end credit cards uh, that offer you stunning rewards uh, that enable you to travel the world, um, uh, stay in beautiful hotels, and do uh, really amazing things with, with your credit card rewards points. Uh, so I encourage you to uh, follow me on social media. So my whole mission here is to uh, help uh, folks get their credit scores up. Uh, and this is um, much better accomplished if you, uh, if you share the wealth. Also, um, I do credit coaching. Uh, and currently, um, I, I give away one free uh, coaching call per week. Um, so if you're interested in uh, submitting for that or you have somebody in mind that you think uh, could benefit from that, go ahead and find me on social media uh, and leave a comment or send me a direct message. Okay, thank you.